Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I made the unfortunate decision on the Twitch stream to keep playing the serious parts of the game while not lending enough credence to the fact that I was having a bad quality Twitch stream. So that's unfortunate, especially because this is the sexy type episode. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything, it's all pixelated already. <laughs> So I'm very sad, <laughs> but um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> the video. Um, I have edited it down a bit to like uh, the most pertinent parts, so it's pretty short. Uh, but we do get the most important parts, don't worry about that. So I hope you all enjoy, and the video will start in a second. Bum, 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 dun, dun. I don't know, I mean... Should we? Should we just hop in? Maybe we might as well. It's not like I can change it immediately, so... We hit up everything I wanted to. The Pijak planet. The, um... Not Amaranth thing, because we couldn't. Which, we figured out why. Uh, the Rachni incursion planet. So those were the ones I could think of that were ones that I liked in the past. Three minutes till midnight, woohoo. Woohoo indeed, it's three minutes to four for me. It only took us almost four hours to finish getting them minerals and the geth and and the Turian and, and the Salarian stuff. So that's cool, that's cool. In the golden age of the Protheans, Alos was a verdant world dotted with spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Alos has been devastated by means unknown, its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.1 set in standard G's. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to stream because I am hungry, but oh, oh my gosh, everybody, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Uh, oh man, oh, everybody, uh, turn up, close, close your eyes. It's a sexy time scene. Don't get mad at me, Twitch. <laughs> you probably shouldn't call me that. You probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. Yeah, I don't know. We broke our oath to defend the alliance. Reminding myself we're doing the right thing. You don't believe me yet. Well, if I didn't think you were doing the right thing, I wouldn't be here. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know. Well, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, this is getting so iffy. Don't you think it's time to act like it? Battlefield flirting is one thing. Rags against fraternization. Huh, I suppose breach of Why are we talking so close to each other? On a list of charges in our courts martial. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about this and I can't stand it. The galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I. This is why I do love him. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> like, it's so, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like, yeah, the whole thing will happen again. The cycle, like, the world continues on. The galaxy continues on. Like, we are small and insignificant. But right now, to us both, this this moment is important. And I'm like, oh, I love it. <laughs> That was really serious, and now we're just gonna hop right into it. We're just gonna hop right into the scene after, um, after he's like, I don't want anything to change. <laughs> it's like, things are gonna change. Oh my gosh, don't look. Don't 
stomach. <laughs> He is so, he is so attractive. He is so attractive. I don't know what to tell you. It's been a long time since I've met a woman. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. Terrence is our zone. No, but I do find it kind of creepy that after all that, right, like, you know, you do the whole thing, and then Caden, or whoever it is, wakes up, rolls over, and sees a fully dressed Commander Shepard just sitting there, like, staring at you. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, it's a little weird also that you're fully dressed, like, when the other person is not. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit like, oh, why? Like, that's a, I don't know. <laughs> also, the power dynamic is a little bit like, I don't know, it's really, it's awkward, honestly. Like, truly, this sort of thing actually has a lot of implications, but hey, man. It's Mass Effect. I can do what I want. You're a sweetheart, Joker's Kate. Waiting for you on the Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. I swear, though, if anything happens to you, take care, Shepard. I know what you wanted to say. And then he's like, back to back to business. Back to business. And then he's like, but just kidding, I actually love you and I'll miss you. So, you know, sometimes he gives me a little bit of whiplash. He's like, he like comes on pretty strong sometimes. And then he's like, oh, I don't know. Which honestly, like, I, people do that, right? Where it's like, oh, like, you're like, it, you're like in and out. Like, you just don't really, like, you're not really quite sure where you stand with someone or what your feelings are. Like, if you're like, oh, am I falling in too deep, you know? Am I like not committing enough? Like, I don't know. So I can, I can understand. Uh, commander? <laughs> got company have their sensors picked us up yet well, stealth systems are engaged unless we get close enough for a visual they won't have any idea we're here picking up some strange readings from the planet surface take us down joker lock in on the coordinates negative on that commander the nearest landing zones two clicks away we'll never make it in time on foot get us something closer there is nowhere closer I've looked drop us in the Mako you need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find <laughs> another landing zone. There okay, is no other just landing zone. The he's just constantly yelling at Presley. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Everyone's, everyone's so stressed. Joker? Except Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Joker's like, I can do it. And I'm like, I trust you with my life. <laughs> you miss sexy time you were eating dinner? No. <laughs> Nothing to see. It's all rainbows and wholesomeness. <laughs> you only saw a butt and a side boob. The hot tub streams were worse than that. <laughs> so don't get me started, Twitch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Suicide run, you say? I know, right? It's like, hmm. Okay, who do I want? We're going to be fighting a lot of Geth. So I'll bring Tali. Oh, but yeah. This is who I usually bring for this. Well, usually when I... Yeah, my, this, this is my favorite pairing, actually, is, is, is Rex and Tali. They are, I don't know, my best squad. Even when I'm, like, whatever I'm playing. Like, soldier, engineer, whatever. I feel like Tally and Rex really balance each other out really well, abilities-wise. For Husks, though, I like to have Liara, <laughs> as you can see from that little ship incident we were in. I'm gonna drop right on your head, my dude. You two, keep moving inside, now! Joker's as good as his word. Drop me down on this tiny little stretch of land here. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. You keep getting lost. I'm always lost on Ilos. I can't, f everything looks the same and different all at the same time. This will open up eventually. Okay, hang on. Let me try to keep track. The plaza. 
This is the landing zone and the archive door. Okay. It says all this, but it doesn't actually show like like levels. Mm -hmm. I know, I feel like just yesterday I started playing the game and now I'm already in the end. Uh, yeah, well, it's funny. I was talking to somebody the other day who I just met who's a big Mass Effect fan. And she finished it over the summer. And I was like, why didn't I finish it during the summer? And then I was like, oh, yeah, I was homeless. And I guess I still am. Just, uh, wait, this is the way back. This is the way back to the archives. I'm just, okay, there you are. Oh, that's right, we hacked him. I was like, what? I think they maybe put these these little enemies here so that you could kind of help, it would help you find your way. Like on either side of the map. Because now we're in a completely different layer. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, I was like, what? And I realized what happened. Oh, I'm lost. <laughs> Not lost actually, but it all looks the same. I can't wait to play Vanguard 2. I just can't wait to throw myself around in the enemies' faces and just hit them with my face. Just headbutt them constantly. I'm so excited to just throw myself around the battlefield and impale myself upon my enemy. I just keep looking for enemies. These are cool though. This is what you think the Protheans look like uh, and it's what the Protheans were supposed to look like but they got retconned. Also, they're really scary looking <laughs> and they just look very uncomfortable. <laughs> But, you know, that's just me being a weird alien, you know? Am I? Oh, no. Where am I? Am I? Oh, I think I am going the right way. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We just go into this little corner, and then we'll go back, and we'll go this way, and we'll go. Woo -doo 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 -doo. Every time, every, not every time, but sometimes I look over and I think they're husks and it gives me like a mini heart attack. Never mind. Oh, I can't reach them. Oh, again, thought it was a husk. That's just great. Yeah, but the Protheans get retconned because they did the collectors, right? And the collectors were supposed to be a different species. Uh, but it turns out it was actually a better idea to make the collectors former Protheans. Or I don't know. No, that, that wasn't right. Because that was decided in Mass Effect 2. That the collectors were Protheans. But that they were, like, people weren't sure if that was going to be, like, the heavily modified version of them. Like the, like the, the, what do you call it? Um, Reaper modified version. Oh, there's one. The Reaper modified version. Uh, of these, like, squid people. And it turns out they're not. These people, at least according to the lore now, are, um... They are the, the species that came before the Protheans, and this is what the basically what the Protheans found. This planet was inhabited by this species. There's a name for them, I can't remember their name that um, they came before the Protheans and they were the ones that were ex like, you know, driven extinct in the previous cycle. And this is, this is basically the ruins are what, um, what the Protheans found. These aren't necessarily Protheans, although they were modified by the Protheans. But they, um... But they were the species that came before. Also, I got totally distracted again. Um... But... Yes, the uh, poor Krogan that freaking makes it, too. 
the freaking Thetis and gets beheaded. I'm like, that actually wouldn't happen. I'm pretty sure. I'm honestly pretty sure that um, the Krogan would become some sort of like mega warlord in Thetis. I guess if they don't have the, if they, eventually like your gun runs out of bullets, right? Or energy packs or whatever, however we talk about them. In Mass Effect and maybe you wouldn't, oh, I'm stuck again. Maybe you wouldn't be able to, but even like on their own, like the Krogan were always like incredibly powerful, like even without, um, Is that, is that all that's up here? I swear there's actually something else, but maybe not. That is a get sapper right there. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for you, the you entire think, really? Seven's troops must have sealed the doors from here. You can't really inside. know that. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. She actually probably could. She's a freaking quarry and she's like, I know freaking power structures, you know? She could probably see stuff that I couldn't, like, you know, like, like just detail stuff that's like, uh, like a certain setup or something. Let me actually, oh my gosh, why? Why are these guys so aggressive? I, uh, is it not working? Is not working. I actually physically can't apparently biotic this guy. Okay, it's cool. They're all just kamikazeing us. That's nice. Yeah, okay. Uh, here we go. Come on. Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him. Yeah, I'm getting more data. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we oh, can't Oh, don't say the we on that. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything? Stop useful? talking over it. Old Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is I love that it sounds like an old timey radio entry there at that point. You know, the other one sounded like a like a broadcast or like a maybe a private message or like you know like a broadcast to like the immediate vicinity but this one sounds like an old timey radio broadcast it said something about the conduit but it's too degraded to help we should go all is lost it's so creepy cannot be stopped uh, this is something that I missed before. Is this <laughs> this going up here? Maybe that. Look at it. I don't know why this needs to be here, but it is. It's here. We all look so good in our Colossus armor. Tally looks exceptionally good. It did take me- oh, this is the one that was locked to us, so now we're back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I need to go over here? Do I? No. Do I have what I need to get into the- uh, I don't know. Oh. 
Yay, I do! I do have a key! Yeah, I ain't walking in there. I'm taking the Mako in there. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap around Bush for us. Oh my! They must have been oh my too gosh! Much of a hurry. Oh, we just haven't oh my. into it yet. Oh my gosh! Um, I've never been this stuck in the Mako in my life. <laughs> okay. Very, very ominous, chilling thing. All these glowing lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. Hallways upon hallways of pods. Spoiler. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of thing? They look hey, like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves through cryogenic freezing. What? Oh, they're coming from far away. Yeah, I don't care. Bye. I got places to go. People to see. Those roots, they're da- I tried- I actually did try to go around it a bit, but I didn't want to, like, jerk around it. Those roots are dangerous. What's happening? It's a trap! Saren must have it's set an ambush. I it's don't think trap. Saren's behind this. And we're gonna leave off there with a little bit of a cliffhanger. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I had to cut it in half, otherwise the video would have been way too long. But really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, especially to my sapling tier patrons, Skylamunker. Thank you so much for your support. And Rescalito, thank you so much for your support. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron, who is the most awesomest. And thank you so much. And again, thank you everybody for all your support and watching, especially in these trying pixelated times, and I hope to see you in the next one.